Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 374, which is count complete substrings. So what is the problem? We are given a string word and an integer k. Uh, so uh, we have to find the total number of substrings. Uh, which uh, satisfies these two conditions the first condition is that each character in s occur exactly k times and the second condition is that the difference between two adjacent character in the substring is at most two right so let's take the first example let's take this example and uh, write it here so here uh, word is uh, i g i g e e and uh, uh, k is two so we can take any substring uh, of uh, length any length and uh, what we have to find well, the total number of characters present will be uh, each character total number of each character present will be k exactly k and uh, the difference between two adjacent character will be at most two so uh, the first substring uh, that is possible here is i g i g because the difference between i and g so g h i so the difference between i and g is 2 uh, and uh, another character we can take is ee -E. the difference between these are 0 okay so there are two possible characters and what is the another one the another one is ig ig -E, the entire thing ig ig ee -E. so what is the difference between g and i so e f g h so the difference between e and g is also 2 so there are three possible combinations right so the answer is three right i hope you got the question what the problem statement is now uh, uh, how we can solve this problem so the uh, when we are looking at the uh, constants so n is order of 10 to the power 5 right and uh, what consists only lowercase english letters so we can solve this problem in order of n or some kind of if we take uh, the length of the uh, alphabet uh, in consideration so it could be solvable in order of 26 into n or order of 26 square into n okay so order of 26 square into n with some kind of optimizations so you can say that so i am using this order of 26 square into n so uh, this if we are going into this complexity the question becomes uh, really easy because uh, the first observation we can make here is that first observation or you can write it as observation observation one will be that uh, every character present here will be uh, exactly k times so we have 26 number of alphabets so the length of the desired substring could be like k if only one character is present it could be 2k it could be 3k or it could be 26k right so there are total 26 distinct lengths of the substring right so that's the first observation so there are only 26 possible lengths of the substring now if we can solve for a particular length the our overall time complexity will be order of 26 into order of solving the particular uh, for a particular length so to order of 26 into solve for a particular length solve for a particular length right so if we can solve this solve for a particular length into uh, in 26 into n then our answer will be solvable in 26 square into n right so how we can solve this for a particular length so we can iterate over the string right we can keep one map uh, or you can say counter of d of 26 and when uh, uh, we are iterating over every substring of length l right we are iterating over every substring of length l now when we have a substring of length l and our counter will check every for every possible value of l if di is equals to k or not if di is not equals to k then for this particular substring the answer is not possible if di equals to k for every uh, character or di equals to 0 or di equals to 0 d equals to k or di equals to 0 for every possible alphabet then our answer will be yes right this is the first condition and for the second condition if we will say that if i and uh, the difference between absolute value between i and i minus 1 is equals to less than equals to 2 or not if it is not uh, equals to 2 we will move the uh, our pointer to i plus 1 right so what we are doing we are taking uh, two pointers here one is l and r 
denoting uh, the left and right of our substring. Now, if uh, we'll check if sr minus sr minus one is greater than two, greater than two, we'll uh, move our uh, l pointer to r, l equals to r, and r will be equals to r plus one, right? Now, if sr minus sr minus one less than equals to two, then we will check if our possible substring from l to r uh, is a valid substring or not. So, without further delay, let's jump into the code. You will understand it better. So, here what we am, I am doing, I am taking every possible length from k to 26 into k. The minimum length will be n because uh, the total length of the substring could not be greater than n, right? And uh, I am incrementing it by k. Now, uh, we are taking two pointers, l and r. So, uh, we are iterating over r. Now, if uh, r is greater than 0 and absolute value of word r minus word r minus 1, I have already explained it here. If uh, word r minus word r minus 1 greater than 2, we are just incrementing the value of l to uh, r, right? And we are decrementing the value of, uh, so we are uh, maintaining a counter, right? So, when we are incrementing the value of l, we will just do d of l minus minus or d of s l minus minus. When, when we are incrementing the value of r, we will just do d of s r plus plus, right? That's the thing here uh, for any two pointer uh, string problems. So, uh, here we are doing d of word of l minus a minus minus, and we are incrementing the value of l, and we are doing d of word of r uh, minus a plus plus and incrementing the value of r. Now, if r minus l equals to equals to our length, we are iterating over length, so this i is our length, uh, we are uh, taking one flag as zero. And for every possible character, we are checking if dj equals to equals to 0 or dj equals to equals to k. If it is uh, none of this condition satisfies, then we are marking it as 1 and breaking. If flag equals to equals to 0, answer plus plus. And we are incre uh, incrementing the value of l here. So I hope you got it. Um, I will provide the link of the code in the description box. Uh, if you have any doubt in any part of the video, please write in the comment section. I will try to reply each and every comment. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can provide your valuable feedback through the comment section. Thank you.